What's going on guys? This is the Mobile Gamer. Today we're going to look at the Razer Kishi and play a little Dead Cells until we die. That's the plan. We'll see how far we can go. So before I bought the Kishi, I looked at a bunch of reviews, looked up videos on YouTube, and I was hesitant to buy it. Because all the reviews said you can't fit your phone in there without the case. Uh, if you have a case on your phone and you happen to get it to fit, the connector doesn't connect to the either the USB-C port or the lightning connector for iPhones. But upon further inspection of those videos, I saw that every single Kishi that they were looking at was an iOS Kishi. So I said, okay, let me take a chance on it, and we'll see. <clears throat> Go to Walmart, got it for 50 bucks. Uh, honestly, it's the best dang phone controller I've ever used. I love this thing. So this is a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra with a Spigen Tough Armor case. It's not a thin case, but it's not a thick case either. And it fits perfectly in this thing. With the case, with the connector. <clears throat> and all you gotta do is take out these little ripper things. They come out real easy. The instructions say to grab this tab here, pull it like that. What I have found with the Android versions of the Kishi, the Type-C connector is way longer than the Lightning connector for Apple. Plug it in right there. Boom. Screen comes on. Fits perfectly with the Spigen Tough Armor case, rugged Tough Armor case. You know, you can see it's going all over the phone, the little cursor. You can see Dead Cells is highlighted. Oh, well, not anymore. But another use for this is. Uh, I use it for remote play. This app right here, you have to pay for it, unfortunately. But this app allows you to use any controller you want with PlayStation Remote Play. The stock PlayStation app only allows you to use uh, DualShock 4s or DualSenses. I don't have those. I just have the DualShock 4s, and I would prefer not to have to repair my controller to my PlayStation whenever I want to play it. Granted, it's rare that I do play it. Still, I don't want to have to do that. And just getting that third-party app is awesome. All right. So let's get into some Dead Cells, shall we? All right, guys. So now we're in the Dead Cells. These are all the upgrades I have. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, these are all the upgrades that I have unlocked. And I actually have unlocked the random sword at New Game and the random bow or ranged weapon at New Game. So this is the balanced blade. I like that. This is the electric whip. I don't like that. So we're going to get rid of that. Get rid of the old wooden shield. What you guys may or may not have known is if you go all the way back to the start area here, drop down here. If you have the random sword upgrade, you're going to see the rust sword in this wall. I don't want that. And in this wall, you will see the beginner's bow. That I want. I like that way better than the electric whip. It's got a longer range. I don't feel like doing the trials, so we're gonna skip that. Yeah, I did not. I have not beaten anything in this game yet. is to get past the first boss without dying. 
or die and end the video. Let me know what your preferred loadouts in this game are. Honestly, I like the the heavy hitting weapons. Oh, no, I don't want to go there. I like the heavy hitting weapons and a good bow. Now this area, if you can see here, it's a pause area. Anytime you're in one of these areas, it's a pause area. Let's see, what can I find here? Is there anything here? Swift Sword. 239 DPS, inflicts critical hit if you have an active speed buff. Damage increases up to 90% when you strike repeatedly. Nope. Alright. We're probably going to go through the sewers. find that upgrade too. Toxic sewers. Did I make it? Did I make it? Did I make it? Oh, please see I made it. Seven seconds off. That's wonderful. All right, you. Health flask three. Haven't started that yet. Some might have started. Backpack. Yes, this is what I want. I want the backpack. Yeah. So all my cells are going to go into the backpack for a third weapon. that. Reforge that. Uh, shots pierce all enemies. We're going to do it again. Shots pierce his first target. Movement speed for five seconds after killing an enemy. Burn when they die. Freeze nearby enemies. Ammo plus three. We're going to do that. All right, so what do we want? I think we're going to go combo. All right, let's see how fast we can get through the toxic sewers. Wait, no. Here it is. 
Wrong side, doofus. Okay, just wanted to check that. Shit. Well, that sucks. I didn't get very far now, did I? Dang. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm not very good at this. I beat the first boss, I think, three times. I don't know if you even consider him a boss, because he was extremely easy. And there's the swift sword, so we'll pick that up. You know, we'll try the whip. Oh no, oh, I made a terrible mistake. I should have gone the whip. Oh well. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I made it past the first boss three times. Um... And I just do stupid things in the game, like break open doors that I need to pay for, and open chests that I shouldn't open, and then I take one hit from an enemy and I die. Yeah. Oh, I got no help now. That's wonderful. Well, anyway, uh, that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what games you are looking forward to in the future. Android games, iOS games any homebrew games that you know somebody's working on. Hint, next video I'm going to be showing you guys my PlayStation Vita and all the things that I did to it. Uh, and if you guys want, I can possibly make videos on Vita content as well. Just tell me a game, I'll download it, and we'll upload it. I'll tell you one game that I'm really looking forward to, though, 